and welcome to Everyday Blessings for Catholic Moms. I'm your host, Donna Marie Cooper O'Boyle. The Catechism tells us the Christian family is the first place of education and prayer. Based on the sacrament of marriage, the family is the domestic church, where God's children learn to pray as the church and to persevere in prayer. For young children in particular, daily prayer is the first witness of the Church's living memory as awakened patiently by the Holy Spirit. So we see that a faithful mother knows that it is essential to develop not only her own prayer life, but her family's prayer life as well, as to teach her children to develop their own individual prayer lives. Christian mothers need to be faithful to their personal prayer, strive to put aside time for family prayer, and impress upon their children that they are also called by God to be prayerful people. A mom will remind her family about the blessings in remaining close to Jesus and his Blessed Mother at all times because she realizes the importance of instilling a prayer life within her children. A mom teaches her children to follow her own example, to pray. She begins this fundamental aspect of raising her children when they are just infants as she prays in their presence, all the while lovingly teaching them the necessity of turning to prayer at all times. A mom actually begins teaching the building blocks of prayer when her children are still in her womb as she prays for them as they grow within her. A baby is surely nourished by these prayers as our Lord bestows many graces on a prayerful mother's child. As our children grow, they will begin to understand our prayers said in their presence. Even little aspirations voiced out loud, thanking God for a new day and His many blessings. At other times, we sit or kneel with our little ones, teaching them to bless themselves, fold their hands, and help them communicate with the Lord. We want them to know that they can speak from their heart to a loving God at any time. We don't want them to feel forced into prayer by using a regimented approach. We won't turn them away from prayer if we show them that it is a natural, beautiful, and loving conversation. We will be setting down a critical foundation for them, teaching them by our own example that prayer is something to look forward to and to treasure. We can remind and encourage our children throughout the day to offer their hearts to God from time to time letting our Lord know that we love Him. And these are simple but vital teachings. So wherever life takes our little ones down the road, we can feel comforted knowing that they were raised with prayer and they will surely turn to prayer throughout their lives even at the times when it may not seem as obvious to us. Help us, dear Lord, in our mothering. Thank you, dear Lord, for your great love. Amen. So that's it for now, but until we meet again, let's keep one another in prayer in our domestic churches. Bye now.